Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Now I have to say I'm fairly impressed with this amplifier. Fairly impressed with it. This right here is originally a Texas Star MC250. You heard that right. Mike Charlie 250. This is the very first two transistor amplifier that Texas Star made. And uh, after I got done with it, um, really that last amp I made, I should have put this face plate on it and that face plate on this one. <laughs> and you'll see why when you see what it's doing. Very impressive for some Motorola MRF. Uh, uh, 453s, I believe it is. We'll pop the top off here in a second. Very impressed. Uh, the fella that had this amplifier before told me it is as strong as a brick. He has ran it, ran it, ran it, ran it, ran it as hard as he can. He said he even tried to blow it up. He can't even blow it up. He said this thing is a brick. And I know some of y'all probably know y'all have had amplifiers like that in the past. So it was in very rough condition. The front was very rough. So I went ahead and put a brand new front, as you can see. Brand new meter. It uh, swings off the scale. <laughs> but at least there's a meter there. All brand new buttons and lenses. This case right here is uh, in good condition. This, is a, 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 this, this lid is in good condition. Um... This isn't the original lid. The original lid's maroon, like the front. But I went ahead and get, gave it a new lid because that lid was in rough condition. Gave it new power wires. And uh, did, did a few things inside, not much. So let's let you see what it's doing. We're going to hit it with a hot radio first, which we're going to be driving right there about 8 watts RMS, 40 watts peak. New Motorola 453s. Don't let that fool you right there. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll stay on RMS first. We'll just keep it on high. You know, different power levels. Go. Well, might be good if I turn the amp on first, right? All right. Let you see that thing swing like a monkey right there. Look at that. Do do about 180 RMS. Here's your peak. Do 380, 390 peak, peak watts. You want to go to level two? Do. 300 watts. Ooh, about 200 watts. Ooh. Well, that actually, that was three, and then that right there is the lowest. Okay. Alrighty. We've done these last three backwards as I normally do them. We're going to unhook the hot radio. We're going to hook the bench radio. Now we're going from 8 watts RMS of drive to 4 watts. About 40 so PEP down to 20 PEP. We'll have to take a look at the input reflect as well. 10 watt slug in reverse. Here's your input. Oh, yeah. Beautiful input tune. I didn't even have to do anything to it. Oh, yeah, it was good to go. Oh, like I said, this this meat, this meat needle is off the Richter here. Oh, 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 there you go. There's a little bit of control. These buttons do stick a little, I've noticed, just to let you know. When I say stick, I'm just talking about the way they just kind of come out slow. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's look at it on high. RMS again. Oh, about 120. P. 
PEP. Oh, about 300, 340. Yeah, about 340. Shows good peak watts. Go ahead and take the top off real quick. Okay, there's what she looks like inside. Like I said, a pair of Motorola 453s, double black dots. Look at that, just a 250 peak of fair cap on that tr transformer. It's amazing, ain't it? This is the very first two transistor amplifier Texas Star ever made. Not Outcome, Texas Star. This is identical, identical to the Outcome 202. <clears throat> All they did was change it over to Texas Star. They made a final, a, a little bit of adjustment to the AB bias circuit here. They're just feeding it just a little different as they, on the other one they do it over by the switch. But other than that, man, it's identical to the outcome, but I went ahead and put a Texas Star MC250 on it, and this was Texas Star's first two-transistor amp. The next one after that was a three-transistor amp called the 350 Bilateral. And basically that was this right here with a driver over here. And I do own one of them, and I will hold on to that for a long time because those are very rare to find. And mine's brand new, so it ain't going nowhere. All right. Off to eBay she goes. You got a fret. The whole front end's brand new on this thing. You got to keep her set it. Merry Christmas, 73rds. We're going, baby, 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 baby.